Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, hi, my name is Teresa and today it's just a super simple video. I um, figured it was time for me to do my quarterly project pan update. I'm not very good at project pan, if you have watched me for a while you will know I'm not very good at project pan because I have a lot of stuff and I am a little bit like a squirrel in that I get very distracted and I forget where I've hidden all of my nuts. Um, so a little, little bit chaotic, a little bit disastrous, but I do try to put some elements of things into a project pan. So I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about my progress so far. Um, if you've watched, you know I don't put things like eyeshadow palettes into a project pan. I just don't. <laughs> I I don't want to be committed to one eyeshadow palette for too long. It's just not interesting to me. So if you are interested to see how I'm getting on with my project pan and see whether or not I will repurchase these things, then this is the video for you. Do please keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, I use this Juvia's Place uh, concealer. It is in the shade 24. I'm very close to being finished with this. I am um, like, I'm struggling to get the last bits of product out of it. I usually just put the brush in. So you can kind of see here, there are marks from uh, where the concealer is gone. So I am getting through it. There isn't that much left to this. Um, will I get this again? I'm, I'm assuming that come my next project pan update, this will be done because I, I, I think I'll maybe get another week or two out of this, if even. I have backups of this because I really like it as um, as an eye base because it's really quite white and it doesn't really crease that much on me. I do have very creasy eyelids, it just, it is what it is. Uh, like I said, I don't have any eyeshadows to talk about so what ifs, but I do have uh, some eyeliners. So I figured I was going to put this duo in a while ago. I mean, look, that's pretty much gone, and the brown on this is gone as well, to the point that they're not really usable anymore. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it time of pan. T O P um, is today the what date is today? <laughs> the nineteenth of April. We will say that this is panned. So these are the duo eye pencils. I have so many duo eye pencils and they're such a bad idea. Why do I have these? Like, they're so, like why? Why did I buy these? This was early on in my journey. So you're just getting to see me being like, what's wrong with you, Teresa? Like, these are so used up to the point that I don't even know what shades these are anymore. So that is gone. Um, I also have this perversion eyeliner um, from Urban Decay. Oh my God, I am so sad that this is done. I really, really liked this. Uh, the formula was really, really good. I loved the um, tip on this, like it was really nice and very, very sharp. I would happily buy this again. However, they discontinued this. I think that was a major mistake on their part because I, I mean, they don't really have anything else like this in their line and I think it was really good. I think what I'm going to, going to do, words are hard apparently for me today because I really liked the brush on this. I'm gonna clean this up and keep the brush for when I am doing my graphic liners because it's always handy to have an extra one around. So that is, to date, two things completely panned. Look, don't fight me on this. This is panned. I'm not using this anymore. I'm not putting it onto my eyelids. So that means, I, I don't know if I'm gonna put another eyeliner into the mix. I suppose if I had to, don't judge me. Look, okay, right. I have another one of these duo, jewel thingies. <laughs> and, um, this is a uh, black market and tornado. So tornado is a purple and then black market is like a blacky brownie. So I might go for that or I might go for this, which is again, another duo in black velvet and smoke. 
So either one of those I might go for. In terms of any liquid liners, I'm not really putting any of those in. I'm having a lot of fun with the graphic liners at the moment. I bought some from Sheen and I, of course, love things like Suva. So I probably won't be putting anything into that for a little bit. So yeah, that's that. I, I mean, the next thing then is this um, mascara from Lancome. It's the Lancome Hypnose. This this was gifted to me by my lovely friend Franca and um, she was like this is really really good you'll like it and I was like dude why am I saying dude it's not a dude anyways you know what I mean I was like eh mascara is mascara doesn't really do much because I don't really have any eyelashes and she was like trust me actually this is pretty darn good um, I have been using this for several months um, and it has run out but also it's gotten to the point where I shouldn't be using it anyways because hygiene and I don't want to scrub up my eyeballs more than they are already screwed up. That is a correct technical term. So that is that is done, that is panned and going into the rotation instead is this It Cosmetics Superhero and um, I've just started using this in the last couple of days. It looks like this so it's one of those ones that basically came in a set because it's a mini. I um, can't remember how I got this or where I got this, but um, it says it's Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. I primarily just use mascara on my lower lashes because I use falsies. There's no point in putting mascara through the falsies for me. There just isn't. Um, I can't really say so far as to what it is that I think of this. I don't like the wand that much. That's that's what I would say. It kind of clumps a little bit. But other than that, that is what I am entering into into court as evidence. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Um, next thing then I suppose uh, is primer. Okay, because I'm I'm thinking about this in the way that I do my makeup. I have been using the El Poreless Putty Primer. I am doing really well on that. I have properly hit pan yeah um i don't know how i feel about this um i am of the camp that thinks that maybe just maybe primer isn't really a thing <laughs> so would i necessarily get this again i don't know i don't know i've loads of primers here anyway that i have to kind of go through but i i I'm not, I'm not gone on it, you know, don't necessarily need it. Uh, next thing then is concealer. This is, oh, picked up the wrong one. This is the NARS uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Chantilly. Tis gone, tis 100% gone. I love this concealer so much. Um, I've already started on my second one. Uh, not second one, I don't know how many ones of these. So you can already see I have a bit of a dent put into it already. And I have another one on standby because I live in a very weird state of, I don't wanna say fear, but like I do worry <laughs> that it's just gonna go and I like that concealer so much. It's very like weird problems to have. So would I get that again? Yes, obviously. I just went off and I bought another one and I bought another one because I have problems. So come at me, bro. Come at me. Don't come at me. I'm I'm not very strong. Um, next thing then is foundation. So I have the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation in I think was it shade 0 0.5. Anyways, it's the it's the palest one. This was gifted to me by my lovely friend Anne Marie. She ended up getting me another one because she knew that I ended up liking it so much. Um I really liked the, the coverage on this. It gives you a really like dewy finish. It suited me. Um, FYI, I have normal skin, sometimes dry. It's been a bit weird recently. What hasn't been weird? So yeah, I like this and I have another one so I will be using it again. Um, what I am now putting in and having as rotation because I don't like to open too many foundations and have too many going at the one time because wastage. What I have is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Illumination in Fair. So I'm using that but I'm also using the XX Revolution, was it the Glow Foundation? Um, 
it was, yeah, I think, or it might be the matte one. I can't tell the difference between, I think this is the matte one. Cause like, I, I'm that person that genuinely couldn't tell the difference between them. And I got it in FX 0 0.05, yeah. So I'm currently using these at the moment, kind of going back and forth between the two. So yeah, those are the foundations I'm currently attempting to pan. Next we have um, a contour. So I'm actually using a foundation stick by uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, it's in the shade Mink. I've been using this for a long time and I'm slowly, slowly, slowly whittling down on this, but not by a hell of a lot because I don't need an awful lot of product on this. I, I would get this again um, once I am out of it, but I probably won't be out of this for at least another year. So just based upon my progress, like I do try to give myself cheekbones it doesn't work very well uh then i have concealer another concealer so this is a look i i use the the nars to conceal spots and then i use this to like make it look like i'm alive yeah that's that's how we do things so this is the elf hydrating camo concealer and it's in fair rose this is gifted to me by my lovely friend paula as you can see there's a fair amount of usage on this i'm not near being done on that yet so i won't say as to whether or not i will repurchase that but there you go so next we're on to i use cream blushes quite a bit and i have two here they're the color pops so one is drop of a hat and one is prenup yeah, I've hit pan on these. Haven't made a huge amount of progress on these recently. Haven't kind of gravitated to them as much because I have been uh, actually clicking into this. This is uh, the Benefit Benetint and I'm almost halfway gone through that. I really, really like this as like a little bit of a flush. I have really been enjoying that. Um, then, uh, yeah, then the next thing I saw is I used some cream highlights. I haven't used these in a while. I've been really bad. They have been part of my project pan, but I haven't been using them because I'm a bad, bad girl. Hmm, you. Uh, this is ColourPop. These are in the shades Fire and on the cusp, respectively. I have hit pan, but not a lot of progress there. I also have a Benefit What's Up. Again, not a lot of progress on this because I just keep forgetting that I have this. I really... I need to put this forward. It probably doesn't help that my makeup desk is a travesty. So not much go on this. However, quite a bit of go on um, High Beam. As you can hopefully see there, there's a good amount of usage. Camera has finally focused. I really like this. I have multiple backups of this. I just think it really, really suits me. So yeah, I will end up repurchasing that. Um, I'm not going to put in bronzer. I do use bronzer sometimes, but I'm not actively trying to pan it. Um, I, ooh, I have a pressed blush here, which is on its last legs. I mean last legs. This is collection from a long, long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> long time ago in Bethlehem. Um, it's in Bashful and I, I mean, you, you can see that there, there's pan. I actually really like this as a shade. I am hoping I will be done with that soon. So yeah, will I repurchase? No, simply because I have 5,000 blushers and don't actually need any more. Like it's ridiculous. Um, I'm attempting to hit more pan on Urban Decay uh, highlighter in Sin. There's a good amount of kind of a dent going here. You can kind of see that to some extent. I have also been using the Stila um, eyeshadow in Kitten as a highlighter and I'm, I keep gravitating towards that for that purpose. I had been using the Laura Mercier powder and I have a little bit of that left but I don't use that as much as I once did. I just don't like as much powder on me. Um, when I do use powder I have been using this number seven translucent and uh, I can kind of see the imprint of the pan is starting to show up there. So Hooray, pretty, pretty happy on that. And then, um, okay, I have two sprays here. So I've been using the um, Pixie Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil. So you can see about halfway through that, pretty happy. And um, 
I've also been using this, the XX Revolution Glow Fix because XX must be in everything. I am using this because it's setting spray and I'm not going anywhere and I don't really care if I look glittery because it's just for videos. So will I repurchase it? No, I'm not actually a major fan of XX Revolution. I don't have any lip products in, so that's it. Um. Oh yes, skincare. Uh, stupid Teresa, oh and brows. Okay, brows, I don't really have much to say. I am still in the process of going through these. These are the Benefit Cabrow in the shade five. I haven't even hit the bottom of that yet. I don't use a lot because I have decent brows and then the Ready Set Brow, really like those. I do have some skincare that I have panned, emptied. Um, I have two of the uh, Primark, or pennies, depending upon what part of the world you're from, uh, Balm to Oil Cleanser. My load, I love these. And I uh, don't have many left. And lockdown. So my lovely friend Callie actually said she went off and bought some for me, to which I'm like, Callie, I love you. I love you so much. I will feed you so many potatoes, you wonderful, wonderful person. And then I have uh, the Nip and Fab Salicylic Fix Pads. And... Yeah, they're all gone, I like those. I have this Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream and uh, I have used all of this. As to whether or not I would repurchase this, I don't think so. It didn't really seem to do much for my eyes in terms of like brightening or depuffing. So uh, I, uh, yeah, I would refrain from getting this because it's relatively pricey. So um, yeah, that's, that's it. So I have panned one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine products within a three month period. I personally don't think that that's that bad. Like um, I say panned, like I've gotten rid of, there's plenty of others that I have hit pan on or I have increased the pan on in that period of time. So I'm not unhappy with myself. Um, How are you guys getting on uh, in terms of using up your makeup products? I know it's that bit more difficult when we're not getting out and we're not kind of doing our makeup in the way that we once did. But I wanna hear what you guys think. Um, but that's it, that's the end of the video. Do please like, comment and subscribe. Do please share because sharing is caring unless of course it's an STD, in which case, you know, wrap it up. Don't be gross. But that's it, that's the end of the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.